Hey, welcome to Wednesday afternoon here in the Northern Hemisphere in the United States. Hope you're doing great. Welcome in. This is just a message, a general message, um, but not so general. I'm feeling like this is meant for somebody pretty specific. So, you know, every once in a while, those kinds of readings will need to be done. And here we are. Here we are. Um, if you're looking for the lives that we do, Patreon, we do a live on Thursday. It's a QA. and a mostly about um, spiritual ascension, twin flames. On Friday, I do a 1 p.m. live that is Q&A driven, can be anything. So I do pull cards in those readings if you'd like to join. There's a join button on the channel, also Patreon. You can join over there too. That's where you'll find all of the individual Zodiac readings for August, they are up. So let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. What is happening here? Message for those watching. Whatever message wants to come out, I feel like Whoa! it. <laughs> something really wants to come out. I mean, this is the Lion's Gate energy. It really is. It feels strong. I feel like it's just like coming right out of me. Um, next week, or the 18th and 19th actually, there is a new moon in Leo, okay? And it has an aspect to Mars, which is Aries energy, and it's in Aries. So the idea of courageous action, taking action on something you really want to do, this last energy of Aquarius, the full moon in Aquarius and the, um, and the uh, aspect to Uranus can, have brought about a lot of surprises, maybe not all wonderful surprises, and Uranus is going retrograde in the middle of August in Uranus, um, wait, what am I saying here? Your, Uranus is going retrograde in the sign of Taurus, which is about um, your uh, money, your stability, and all of that kind of stuff. So a lot of you might be needing to take some courageous action. You might see it as, um, wow, this is something I never thought I'd do. It's coming. The energy's coming. And the energy is here to support you, okay? It's here to bring you um, into that higher higher flow state. The reading for tomorrow, the morning message, is all about flow state, about staying in flow state. So you might want to check that out. Yes, choosing your path. The time has come to choose. Rainbow blessings. Okay, I got these two. Distant thunder breaking trail. So even though this new path, is what you're being called to choose it comes with there is some rain thunder and then rainbows coming after it right it's it's it may disguise itself as seemingly oh you know this might be a little bit dangerous a little bit risky i don't know how this is going to play out there you know there's no courage in doing something that you know what's going to happen when you do it. There's no courage in that. Courage comes when you uh, follow your heart and you do something so stupid, so patently foolhardy that other people are like, oh, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But then when it turns out for you, because everything is always turning out for you, when it turns out to be blessings and your path, then all of a sudden everybody's um, uh, knows that you're you know, every, you're a genius, right? Everybody knows that. Oh, I knew it all along. I knew they'd be able to do it all along. So <laughs> that's never gonna change. <laughs> all of a sudden everybody's taking credit for your genius. All right, let's see where we go here. Messages for those watching, please. So something is coming along that is your path to choose, and it may seem like mm, this seems a bit risky to me. All right, there may be a little bit of fear because it's requiring courage. This is require this requires courage. All right, nine of cups underneath. You've manifested this. Let's see where we go. King of Swords. Woo! All right, six of swords, having determination. Right? Six of swords, bam, right into the teeth of the three of swords. Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands. There you are, baby. King of Wands. Four of Swords. Page of Cups, Two of Wands, World. Okay, so I feel like here, here's what it seems like to me. You are, things have been pretty good. All right, things have been on your path in the past, but that path is going away. Nines and tens, like 
things are closing up. The old path is shutting down. Things are, you know, it's like, okay, you got to choose. You got to choose. Come on. And you do. All right. You do choose. King of Swords, Six of Swords. So you're moving toward something, even though in the past it might have hurt you. You're choosing something that you've always wanted, a, uh, a path that you've always wanted to go down, even though there has been heartache. And it's like this dynamic nature, this courage, this courageous effort that you are making in the face of, right, sudden, sure death, right? In the face of that, um, it reminds me of the battle scene in, um, I'll think of it, in, in, uh, with Bilbo Baggins, and I forget which Tolkien movie this is or which, um, which movie this was. Smaug. Oh, Smaug. Okay. In going to face Smaug, right? And then there's this, then there's also a battle scene where they defend the castle. And it's just like everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. There's just like thousands of soldiers, everything like that. And then his cousin from Scotland shows up and they're winning. Yay! Right? Like, <laughs> I hope I got that right. <laughs> anyway, because I only half watch. I sleep a lot of times when I'm watching those movies, even though I love them. Okay. Um, but, <laughs> but that's, it's like, to the rescue comes this fire, this fiery energy. That to me is what that cousin from Scotland represents is this fiery energy, this like determination, this will. So yes, is there Aries Leo Sag energy here? Yes. Is there Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here? Yes. And so doing this patently stupid thing, even in the, even, you know, but that's what courage is. That's what you know, when people are young and they do stupid things, it's it's generally only seen as stupid if they fail. If they do it, it's like, ah, you're a genius, right? So as you get older, you do less and less of those things because you're, you know better or you're just like, I'm not willing to take that risk. I'm not willing to put myself out there. I'm not willing to do those things because... I'm kind of worn down or I kind of feel like that is going to happen again or I kind of it's just a very low vibration kind of stuff. So in this new energy, you may be offered an opportunity or offered an opening. Not even the opportunity. You make the opportunity. Right? What's the line in risky business? I'm not I'm not going to really use the the word cuz I I know probably some of you don't like the word, but um every now and then say what the f what the F gives you freedom. Freedom brings opportunity and opportunity makes your future. Every now and then say what the fuck. Every now and then say it. Because that is what, even though, even though in the face of something that could be potentially devastating, catastrophic, however you want to put it, the old way is, do is done. So it's like maybe even only half courageous because you can't go back. There is no back. There's no such thing as back, okay? So now in this king energy of like having some experience and knowledge and wisdom and courage, okay? Courage doesn't always, always only come from dumb stuff we did as a teenager, right? Hold my beer. Doesn't always come from that. True courage can come from a place of I'm confident in me. I'm confident in me. I know I can handle this. I know I can do it. Even if it brings something that is uh, difficult to surmount, the trail is worth it. The thing I'm doing. It's not just the end result, right? It's the doing. The doing of this is the thing. The actual opening of the business, the actual moving toward relationship, the opening oneself up has value in and of itself. It's not just about the end result. It's not just about the success and or failure and or mixing up of those two things or the difference 
in what you believe is success and failure. It's not just those things. It's like the doing of it has merit on its own, in, especially in this regard. And especially since now you're smart enough, you're wise enough to know that this can be a likely outcome. When you're dumb, when you're a teenager, no offense to teenagers, because a lot of them are smarter than me, but no, uh, but when you're less experienced, let's say, with failure and with face planting and stuff like that, when you're less familiar with it, you're more inclined to just, yeah, whatever, right? Bounce back is easy. But when you have experience, when you're king of swords and king of wands, you have experience. You've been there, done that, right? You know um, how painful failure can be, how difficult it can be. And you're doing it anyway. You're going to do it anyway because the trail is worth it. This is about ascending. This is about your spiritual path. This is about walking through the fire, seeing the distant thunder, seeing it, being like, bring it. Bring it. Okay? That's what this courageous energy is about. So that's going to be coming. Um, and here's this little bitty thing, this page of cups and this two of wands. This is like, I'm not, no more half measures. No more half measures. No more settling. I'm just done with that. Okay? I'm going to make a decision that is going to end life as I know it and bring about something completely new. Okay? I, it, it, there is there's no more half measures here. All right? So I like that the courage, the energy of this courage, lion, Leo, lion's gate, lion's gate portal. What brings you this not, what brings you to this place is this everything is always working out with me, for me all is possible this all is possible okay and you have enough experience you have enough to know but instead all of a sudden what is going to be happening in this lion's gate is shifting out of this idea of oh i only see the danger instead I see the possibility, and the possibility is spectacular, okay? Spectacular. So I'm going to continue on and see where we go here. If you'd like to continue on, I will be looking at air sign and fire sign to see if that plays a role here. That can be you, but we'll see about uh, messages for air sign, fire sign. Either you are them or you're dealing with them. And this message wanted to come out today, so here we are. Okay? All right, link is below for you. I'll see you over there.